and picking right back on up with uh, another episode of Dishonored. Uh, it is the one, the only Stealth Master logging on. And wow, these things are ominous. Uh, please, yes, I do not. Thank you. I do not want all of those uh, scary noises plaguing me every time I try to sleep or walk around. Uh, not sure. We'll get you. And now, since I realize there's actually more of these. Um, yeah, that sounds good. I could probably use that. Not like they're going to, you know, get me or anything, but I know my luck. Of course, white rats not attacking me sounds great. Sure. Why not start there? Also, I bet you... Oh, okay, so that's what's increasing my... Uh, the stuff that I can carry. Or not stuff, the... bone shirts I can have equipped. Okay. Now, as soon as I remember how to play. So, of course, we're going to be cool and not actually. Oh. That was almost a bad fall, but it's fine. I'm, I'm doing great. Somewhere in the. Oh. Hello. Hound kills hound. Money changes hands. Hmm. It's like I know I can swim, but also for some reason I feel very uneasy about getting attacked by something. Ah uh, yes. Maintain from runes can be used to create a to defeat enemies or move the environment, and from roof to roof, possess rats and fish, or a slow time unit. Oh, okay. That was an actual room. Sweet. Got a nice little upgrade. I will take it. And. Yeah, I know what it was, right? Because as soon as I went into the water right after I said something, is when I took damage. Uh, oh. There we go. And now I think we are good to continue the story. If you like, but he won't use it. Why? Well, let's get down to it. First off, I know that assassination is dark business. But sometimes, good men have to do bad things to make the world right. Our purpose is clear. We want Spoken to restore like a real Her Majesty's dictator. mind by finding and putting Emily Caldwin on the throne. To those ends, we'll hide, act in shadow, take them apart, piece by piece. Tonight, High Overseer Campbell dies by your hand. It won't be easy. He's protected by his overseers, an army of religious zealots. But if anyone can do it, you can. Your exploits are legendary. Campbell carries a private journal. Once you've eliminated him, get the journal, because we think it contains Emily's location. Recovering her is obviously critical, assuming she's alive. That's the gist of it. Remember our cause and strike true. We're counting on you. Another thing. Thank you. Campbell is holding a former overseer by the name of Martin. He's one of us, and if you manage to find him, give him whatever help you can. He's a master strategist, and he got caught working for our cause. It'd be good to have him back here at the Hound Pits. I'm sure we can figure something out. I'm nothing if not resourceful and happy to help. Corvo. Hello. I'm Callista. I work here for Admiral Havelock. I'm sorry to intrude on your business, but this is important. I suspect you're going to kill the High Overseer. 
that wretched man. There's really no reason for you to listen to me. But my uncle, Jeff Kernow, still serves as captain in the City Watch. But he's a good man, and my only family. The chatter in servant circles is that Campbell just took delivery of an exotic poison. And I think I know why. My uncle's not corruptible like the rest of them. Campbell is going to poison my uncle. Do you think you could protect him? You used to do that, right? Before you had your current profession. Before you became an assassin. <laughs> I just love the mention of like, you know, before you do the killing thing that you do now. You used to protect people, right? Like, well, thanks, I guess. Just wondering, sir, if you thought about perhaps seeing Piero before venturing into the Overseer's Nest. I'd recommend going with the best gear you can get together. Oh yeah, I talked to him already. Ready to oh. go. <laughs> let's give the signal. Uh, yeah, let's go. <laughs> I heard travel with Samuel the Batman. I was like, that, that's not it. Uh, High Overseer Campbell leads the city's militant religious faction and is a close ally to the Lord, Lord Regent. Campbell is completely corrupt and holds a secret Emily's location, infiltrate the office of the High Overseer, steal Campbell's journal and eliminate him, an ally to the Loyalist Martin is being held there, free him and allow him to escape. Nice, easy to sing. It'll be a rough trip. It used to be to go straight up Clavering Boulevard, but now it's not so easy. Half the city's dead of the plague. The other half's fighting over what's left. City Watch still holds the bigger streets, and they've set up those wall of light checkpoints. A man walks through one of those, and he ends up burned to a crisp. Everything not controlled by the City Watch is gang territory. There are the real odd birds living on the fringes, like that Granny Rags. They say she's nuts. I don't know which is worse. Just take your pick. I will say, I also am a huge fan of the uh, the water droplets on the screen. I just think it's a nice little touch for uh, traveling through water like that. And rain. Oh. You know what? Gotcha now. Here you are. <sighs> Attention, Dunwall citizens. This is a special announcement. Yep, it's like leave it to me to immediately just. This is the Lord Regent speaking. It is with regret that I announce that my. Uh. uh month of harvest and potentially beyond. I'll find you. In addition, in this continuing crisis, the overseers is the eye of the every man. It passes while well light in a number of ways. I do like that the first one gives you a little bit where it's just like, hey, you know, depending on how you want to do it, just uh Oh, come on. Oh. For the generous loan of their services. Oh, come on. Does that count as me killing them? I don't think it should, but... You really threw a rock at me? Jerk. Alright, well. Dude. You gotta bleed. Ow, okay. Attention, Dunwall citizens. John Clavering Boulevard has been designated a restricted travel area. Garbage, garbage. Any citizens are oh. to search. Come on, leave me alone. <laughs> You know what? Cool, I was like, I get it. I didn't, I really did just kind of mess that up immediately. 
But uh, it wasn't, to be fair, there wasn't like a big giant yellow triangle with an exclamation point in it that's like, hey, you shouldn't get caught here. And now, hey, what is it? I think that last one was moving. What? Yeah, the little one. Not possible. I inspected them myself. Keep working. Wow. Well, he ain't moving no more. Disgusting. One, two, three. It's like. So genuinely evil, huh? Yeah, knock you out. Attention, Dunwall Citizen. You, you don't mind John if I do. Boulevard has been designated a restricted travel area. Nice. Any citizens are liable to search or imprisonment at the discretion of the city watch. Do, 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 do. You bad guy. You gonna you gonna get mad if you see me at all? Nothing garbage. Garbage, 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 garbage. All of it. Oh no, that's not a nice thing. Oh. Send us food, not bullets. Bullets? Yeah. Think I don't know. You never listen. Hmm. If I was a birdie, I would do that. Yes, I would. E. Anyone? Home? I don't mind if I do. metal. Ah, here I am just kind of like looting all of her stuff, but I'm, I'm sure she doesn't mind. I told you the knives go on the left. Hey, yes. buddy. Is that you, my dear husband? Oh, my eyes aren't what they used to be. Have you seen my little birdies? Oh, the dear things must be starving without their granny. Here, birdies. Here. Oh, my, my, my. I think I have gentlemen callers again, but not the way I used to, not the nice ones. I hear them, and they're not very polite ones either. Granny Rags, Granny Rags, let us in. Ah, oh, well, they'll go away again if they know what's good for them. But what a bother. Here's the key to the front door, love. You'll see to those ruffians, won't you? Oh yeah, I'll take care of them. I think the little birdies are sad today. Well, they're gonna do it our way. Uh, over here. Oh, oops. Yeah, sleep dirt. I told you the knives go on the left. Let us in, Granny. I bet she can't even uh, hear us. Watch dead She's blind. Really I'm damn it. Where are you? Gotcha. <laughs> Come on. Let's... There you go. I'm just going to teabag him a little bit, loot them. Since he decided he wanted to throw flames at me. Hey, Granny, we did, we did your thing for you. Oh, my dear. I knew you'd help me with those ill-mannered boys. My brave man. Listen, Granny has a birthday present for you. I got it from the outsider, and now I'm giving it to you. Go on. It's upstairs. On the vanity. I think you'll cut a nice figure with it. Remember how we used to dance? Our parties were even grander than those at the Boyle Manor. Everyone wanted to come.
Ooh, birthday gift. Yes. I hope you like the little gift I got for you. It's the least I could do for turning those louts away. I can't bear these bottle street children. Ruffians, every last one of them. Rotten apples. And that slack jaw is the worst of the lot. You know what I just thought of? You could do something else for me. Another little favor. And I'd give you another present. Oh, I do another like gifts. Another lovely wound carved from the bones of a dead whale. Do you remember my doctor, dear? Dr. Galvani? Now there was a clever man. He's got all sorts of nasty rat guts and disease in his laboratory. Wouldn't it be a shame if some of that mess found its way into the Bottle Street Gang's elixir still? That'd teach him. See to it, dear. I'll find you another present just like the first. Galvani lives on Clavering Boulevard. Or at least he used to. Those were the days. Now run off. My baby birdies are hungry. So precious. Hmm. Hmm. But they're shy. You'll have to go or they won't come. No, I won't say that I particularly want to... Oh, of course she disappeared. Uh, I don't quite want to, like... You know, poison a bunch of people and stuff like that, but. Sure, we can figure out something at least. talk to us like that fact is bottle street is here to take its cut so reach it to your pockets and let's get this done yeah uh, somebody give me a hand uh, hey hey what's I up you brother i won't ask about the mask i wouldn't want my face seen either pulling a stunt like that you know what i'll return the favor Come by Griff's shop. That's my business. Well, it was at one time, but now I'm reduced to scavenging things from here and there as the city dies. If you need anything, I wouldn't mind trading for a little money. Maybe someday the plague will blow over and everything will go back to normal, but until then, it's scavenging for me. You know, that sounds like a good deal. Try to do what I can to. Oh. <laughs> so I was gonna say, it was like, oh, you really just disappeared. I'm like, everyone's just like a ghost in this place, I guess. Want to look at some of the things I found? Good prices, I swear. Yeah, let me see what you got. I could. Oh, God, they're so expensive. But, don't mind if I do, don't mind if I do, and I guess we can just buy a bunch of these. Oh. Oh, I thought he was going to go in there. Uh, Alright, next thing's next, we can... Do you think it would do me some good to have this on here? Pop in here right quick. Yeah, 
God, what a just useful ability to have. And to see people through walls. And being able to see their vision cones is pretty cool too, honestly. It was the exact thing I was complaining about in the other game, where I was like, I just can't for the life of me actually see or know who's actually going to see me or not. So that's how like they were whistling, uh, what would you do with a drunken sailor? 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 <coughs> you know that one. Don't mind me, just eating some random meat that I found on the ground. Or, well, not on the ground, but you know what I mean. It's fine, I clearly. Oh. Can't stay hidden forever. <laughs> do, do, do. Look, I just I know you're here. Ran off, coward. Yep, I ran off, don't mind me. It's running away, clearly. <laughs> Bunch of rats in here. Oh, cool. The, someone was feeding their rats. Oh, clearly it was. Yeah, never mind. No, I figured it out. Uh, now, wait. Oh. <laughs> Hit him with the door, I guess. He's he is fine, though, I'm sure. Uh, that's one of the fun parts about like these games too, because so I think it's interesting because I watched a video essay on uh, Death Loop versus I don't I don't remember what it was specifically on, but it was on like kind of arcane as a whole, I think. It was talking about like Dishonored versus the um, Dishonored series versus Deathloop, and there's a was like, but then there was a uh, big discussion about how the level design is very different and like the overall gameplay loop. Mm. If enhances the actual like gameplay end sorry i i'm trying to talk while also there's other dialogue going on in my brain is not working all right all right i don't understand oh come on Are the only other guard here? Uh, but anyway, so it was like Death Loop has a gameplay loop that's really repetitive, and like you go through the same levels multiple times, but you're kind of coerced into doing things only one certain way, and then when you figure it out, like you have to do it all in one chain. Uh, whereas Dishonored, like you can go back through levels and stuff like that, but there's a bunch of different ways to tackle the same problem. Um, and so it's just a very interesting like distinction distinction between the two games, and that's why they feel very different, despite being made by the same people. Um, and also, obviously, a bunch of other factors. But I just thought that was kind of more or less the more interesting part about it. To me, it was just like how the game design, even though or the level design is similar, 
uh, the gameplay loop is what actually determines a lot of how it's it's perceived. Anyways, long story short, of course, I'm just a big nerd that likes video essays and stuff Help like that. Me. Oh. Take a little nap for me, buddy. Uh, when cleaning the study, I ask that you constrain your efforts strictly to the floors. Please, at all costs, refrain from attempting to clean or arrange my bookshelf. In fact, yes, you have to wait for all together. Otherwise, I'll try to consider terms of your employment. Since I'll be out of the city for a few days, I've left next week's pay as well. The bank was closed, so I'm afraid it was short in half. You can count me for the remainder next week, of course. Uh, well, hopefully nothing's gonna drop out and kill me. But obviously, I mean, we're gonna pull the fake book on the bookcase. Ah, uh, just an academy notice, whatever. Will physiology, interesting. Let me just pick up all of these. It's also fun because it's such a little touch that they definitely didn't have to do, but I love that you can just straight up like open and close this guy while you're in here. It serves obviously no purpose at all, but makes it very clear that like it's an intentional detail. Cause like, yeah, like someone would obviously want something like that if they're working in their secret little hideaway. All right. Now we just gotta I'm down up here. Did you hear Morris was dragged off by the overseers? It was a black magic nonsense. Please, not now. <clears throat> Sir, it's my first shift on a wall of light. Are you sure it's safe? It's safe if you're not an idiot. At the start of your duty watch, the technical officer comes by with a chart. You lay your hand on it and you roll into it. Just just so you think you got it. Just go ahead and keep walking. I do not need all of the guards on me right now. Then we'll come over here and so there's probably a good chance that I won't poison the distillery, but where the two at least uh drop by over here and talk to some people. By the outside things, given dark powers, he can slit your throat across the mountains. Well, that can hurt like hell for sure. It's no coincidence that most men won't even whisper his name. Is it true that he lives in the flooded town with them weepers and wild hounds? That's what they say. The perfect place for a big killer to hide. Uh, good old being touched by the outsider doing you some good, you know. Ah, so true, buddy. Pay up. Don't be sour. Say, when's Slackjaw coming down? Not till the next batch of elixir stuff. He'll 
want to check on you. Then you better get all your shit together, huh? Everything's fine. I run the still like I run a game of Nin. Yeah. I run the still like I run a game of Nancy. What a guy. What a man, you know? He really just out here doing his best. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that was almost, uh, that was almost bad. Almost just hopped like, oh. Will they train the overseers to be real religious? Crazy. He just wants to know where his brother's going. You know where he's going in at him when he's sick. I remember. Spring is hitting the dumb way at all times. Yeah. So he goes from room to room. Kids sleeping. Come on. Let's get this guy. Oh, come on. Here we go. No. Get around. Oh, come on. Get around. Uh. Well, <laughs> also, I have a feeling like part of me is worried that I'm doing this in the wrong order because I don't want to poison this. Also, I don't remember how to meet Slackjaw. So. Oh. Did the same thing again. So it goes. Not to the Abbey or the office of the High Overseer. The one in the other place. Will they train the overseers to be real religious? Crazy. He just wants to know where his brother is. He sneaks in. You know where it is. So you get out of Uh did I just Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, did I literally just make myself do the same exact thing again and not learn from what I just did. It would be very mean, but... Go ahead and take a nap. Attach an empty elixir vial to the spot before you turn the on. Turn the valve on. Collect the full vial with the install empty. Do not break vials. Do not smell any elixir. No free swords. Bunch of people that probably buy him. I don't know. Because it's not really what I'm about. So what if we just go out this way? And maybe, uh... Okay. 
You just let bygones be bygones, you know? Wow, they really want me to have, like, all the... Uh, we're doing great. Not me getting lost. Check on the batch, make sure you're wearing pants this time. <laughs> Stick to the recipe. Uh, the more real shit you can, the less there's a spread around, the less coin I made. Just being a charity. Interesting. Well, of course I don't have the master key. Why would I? Hey, shut up! Oh. Got worried that was someone mad at me for a second. Uh, boom, boom. Come on, back over here. Yeah, I'm not going crazy, am I? I was like, there's a way to... Because, like, doesn't Slack Drive help us get... I don't know. Pirates fired the first shot, Battle Street Gang fired the last. Don't know why I said gang so wrong, but... Is that... Nope. <laughs> is that... Nope, that is not. Just need to... So we're just going to pop back on over here. You know what? I guess we just uh, we make our way towards the wall of light. Get around it and all that fun jazz. And then I'm sure they'll... I'm sure I can't miss the non-lethal option, right? I'm not that bad. Though I probably totally am, but I'd like to at least pretend I'm not. We're just constantly hearing ah. Uh. Get around him. What come on? You're gonna bleed. Yeah. Uh Oh, huh. Get it, huh? Well, it's like I guess it's not really uh me killing him if that guy kills him, right? No thanks. We did it. We, we got through the second wall of light. Yeah, see? Man, I'm a pro at this. No problems whatsoever. Was not worried at all. Oh, huh. Hello. I hear the second day is when the skin really starts to come all the way off. Is that true? Or is it the itching that really gets you? 
or the rats. Jasper, isn't it? It's not so bad in here, <laughs> except I miss your wife. Huh. My man. You don't scare easy, I'll give you that. But that'll change. You want me to take him out? Oh. <laughs> that would have been really funny for me to mess up. What a sight you are in that mask. I know who you are and what you're here to do. And I can help. Unlock me and I'll buy you a drink in a couple of days. By the void, I'll buy you a hundred drinks. Sounds like a plan to me. Mission clues. Ah, okay. Uh, camel plans of poison. Blah. Poor circulation, and I seem to have forgotten my mittens, so I'd appreciate it if you could release me or at least go gather some firewood. Are you sure? Seems like a fun, fun device to be in for some reason. Oh. Feels good <laughs> I thought he straight up straight. disappeared. Thank you, Corvo. What you're here to do tonight is of the highest importance. We've got to find Emily. So kill Campbell and make it quick. Once it's done, search his body for the journal. His notorious black book. And get out of there. Campbell is meeting with a guard named Kernow. And word from my informant is that Campbell is going to poison him. Maybe you can use that to your advantage. All right, I won't be of any help here, so I'll make my own way back to the Hound Pits pub. If I see Samuel the Boatman, I'll tell him to pick you up in the backyard, behind the office of the High Overseer. May all the spirits guide you, and may our enemy's head hit the floor without you taking a scratch. Man, what a nice guy. Uh, I guess we'll blink. Um, oh, no. I said blink, then I looked at it, I was like, yeah, that's blink. I was like, it's... Eyes do blink, but that's not blink. How many? Uh, I only got two. Out on a retreat, we passed through a fishing town and saw him begging. What were his crimes? Who can say? The brand is reserved for an overseer, or even the high overseer himself, who violates our codes and must be cast out permanently. Remember the seven strictures, and you never need worry about such matters. I will, brother. Ooh. And it does look like it updated. Okay, that's right. That's how this guy gets non lethally taken down. Uh, my coins don't mind if I do. Oh, and then Hopness. No one's up here. I didn't realize he was talking to himself, honestly. But he has been paying attention to me, so hey, you know what? That's fine. Uh, okay, but there's two people in here. Do you know what? I just make it nice and easy so we only have to worry about this guy. Ah, oh, come on. <sighs> Just my luck, for whatever reason, decided to turn around and... 
Uh, heretic brand is reserved for those overseers who have committed heinous acts against order, but have not broken codes that would otherwise that would otherwise result in execution. No contact, aid, or shelter can be given to one bearing the brand. The person is forevermore unwelcome to the abbey and its affiliates. When used, the brand is applied to the forehead, so all can see the sins of the recipient. The chemical compound acts immediately, scarring the heretic for the remainder of life. Interrogation room here at the office of the high overseer stands ready for branding ritual should the need arise. The recipient must be strapped into the interrogation chair and a strand is, is a brand is applied. The heretic brand itself is be stored in the same room. Nice. Sounds like a plan to me. I just love that I have the option. If I want to just ring the alarm bell, I can. I'm like, why not, you know? And now, we just wait. Now I hopefully, uh... The servants must have been in here. Let me see. It seems I have the wrong one. Not that one. No. Ah, here we are. Now if you'll join me. Men will come get you when we're finished. Keep each other entertained. I don't understand how this got so unpleasant. Oh, I agree, I agree. A whore dies and suddenly this. Will you have wine? It's a Tivian Red. Thank you. What on earth? Who's been in here? I owe you an apology, Captain. This is hardly the hospitality I planned for you. Well, time to do this. <laughs> Attention! This facility is now in high alert. Lockdown is now in effect. Report to your stations and execute any intruders on site. Well... Facility is now in high alert. Lockdown is now in effect. Report to your stations and execute any intruders on site. Facility oh, is now saying. in high alert. Lockdown is now in effect. Report to your stations and execute any intruders on site. Okay. Uh, that definitely actually made me jump. Uh, okay. This facility is now in high alert. Lockdown is now in effect. Report to your stations and execute any intruders on site. Yes, I get it. It's under high effect. I should have quickly just knocked out the other guy, but it's fine. Just gotta sneak on in here right quick. We're gonna close the door behind us. Attention! This facility is now in high alert. Lockdown is now in effect. 
Report to your stations and execute any intruders on site. Find the heretic's brand in the interrogation room. That's a health potion. Uh. Uh. Attention! This facility is now in high alert. Lockdown is now in effect. Report to your stations and execute any intruders on site. And so I was like, I'm not missing something, am I? I was like, no, it's actually just in here. It's in the, it, technically I guess it is in the same room, but I wouldn't consider this the same room. Attention, this facility is now in high alert. Lockdown is now in effect. Report to your stations and execute any intruders on site. So now I just gotta go to the overseer backyard. Um. I know you're here. No, you don't. You don't know shit about me. Oh, I'll find you. Yeah, no, you won't. Attention! This facility is now in high alert. Lockdown is now in effect. Report to your stations and execute any intruders on site. Yeah, I knew you would turn around. Aw, oh, come on. Stop. I need more men. Die, damn it. Ouch. Attention! This facility is now in high alert. Lockdown is now in effect. Report to your stations and execute any intruders on site. No. Uh Go to sleep. All right. He, uh, see, if you were watching this, you were you were probably so worried about me dying or getting caught, and I only did one of those things. Uh, ooh. Hmm. Oh, nope, alright, well, I could probably make, like, a pretty solid run. I got plenty of health. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, this isn't really much of a, like, extra way through, is it? <laughs> Go. We know you're here. No, you don't. If you knew I was here, you would have found me already. Attention! This facility is now in high alert. Lockdown is now in effect. Report to your stations and execute any intruders on site. Oh yeah, this shouldn't be bad to get away from. Uh... Attention! This facility is now in high alert. Lockdown is now in effect. 
Report to your stations and execute any intruders on site. Do, 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 do. Don't mind me. Just making my way downtown. Walking fast. Base is passed and I'm homebound. Do, 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 do. Things are bad. Go to backyard. Alright, we're almost free. She's my sister. She's not a witch. I know her. Out of the way. You expect preferential treatment just because you are her brother? She will burn. All witches must burn. Bertolt, don't let them take me. I swear I've done nothing wrong. Silence your lying tongue, foul witch. You seem like you're having a bad time. You appeared as if from nowhere. We would both be dead if not for you. We are forever in your debt. I cannot thank you enough. I must get my sister to safety. But first, I may know of a way to thank you. There's a safe in the bunkhouse. The combination is two, zero, three. Take what you want, and good luck. Oh, cool. Thank you. Will I make any use of that? Probably not. I don't know where the bunkhouse is, so... Oh! <laughs> uh, I overshot that one a little bit, huh? Oh! Oh, no. Oh, mash RT, that's why. I was like... There. Um, <laughs> I was just made a really bad mistake of just falling right off. Um, was ideal in the butt. Fall from that height would kill me. Well, you know what? We may have alerted a bunch of people and made some mistakes, but I'm here. We did it. From the way I hear it. Campbell lived a pretty posh life. Maybe it's not my place to say, but men of the faith shouldn't live like barons. Are you ready to go? Yep. Take me back, okay, Cap. Let's go. Hostiles killed zero, civilians killed zero. Nice. Definitely not getting ghost uh, almost ever, but hey, I'll. Uh, Martin is on his way to join the loyalists. Ooh. Wow. Loyalists and Cable's fate is throwing the overseers into disarray. Decoding the high overseers journal may reveal any number of strategic secret. Most notably, the location of the rifle heir to the throne, Emily Caldwin. Back to the house. I expect I want to congratulate you. He's alive. Thank you, Corvo. Thank you. My uncle's a good man. And one day he'll prove it. Here. I know you did this for the right reasons. But I want you to take this as a reward. It's an old heirloom one of my aunts gave me. Whoa. Andre coins. If this is going to work, we have to take down the Lord Regent and all of his key allies. You know that. Yes. You did it. Somehow you took down the High Overseer Campbell against the odds. I knew you were our man, Corvo. With Campbell gone, we've hurt the Lord Regent immeasurably. And with Martin back, we'll have the finest strategist alive. 
The Lord Regent must be shitting himself in Dunwall Tower. Yes, and Campbell's journal, let's not forget. Our hope is that in these encoded pages, the location and condition of Emily Caldwin can be discovered. Our entire movement will mean nothing if we can't place the rightful heir on the throne. We must act fast. No doubt the Lord Regent is holding Emily somewhere, waiting to reveal her, to step out as the hero and further cement his regency. If he doesn't bring the young lady forth soon, there will be infighting among the nobles as to who should succeed the Empress. Yes, time is against us. But now you should take a well-earned rest, Corvo. We will decipher the contents of the High Overseer's journal and share them with later. Yeah, sleep sounds good. <laughs> I love that they both want to do the same exact animation of the shoulder brush and then the fix in the collar. I love waking up to ominous music. I'm sure that doesn't mean anything. Oh cool. Well, we're actually here, so. Uh, there's a lot of steps in this button, huh? I know the golden cat, not as a patron mind. I designed some specialized devices for them. I kept the blueprints, if anyone is curious. Don't. I brought you tea as a courtesy to a colleague. I won't make that mistake in the future. I'm sorry. I only thought... Never mind what I thought. Ooh. Thank you for the tea. Awkward. I have to get back to the Admiral. He has news for me. Swing and a miss, buddy. Corvo, my friend, do you need ammunition or weaponry? Would you like me to craft something for you? Yeah, let's take a look. Got some new upgrades, so... First things first, max out on these, and... Cross per range, cross per Ooh. Yeah. No, no, I'm fine on that for right now, I think. Does this also... Does this also upgrade this? No, that's only my normal bolts, huh? Well, that's a waste of money then. Um, do that, and... Upgrade our range a little bit. Cool. And let's see what Admiral Havelock has to say. Hello, Corvo. I expect Martin will be joining us shortly. I hate to start your day with such a strange matter, but the servants heard something last night, moving through the storm drains beneath the building. Most likely a weeper, the poor bastard. There's no hope for them once the plague gets that far along. Nothing more than a shuffling corpse full of sickness and insects, if you ask me. I'd appreciate you investigating, just to be sure it's not a nosy guardsman that's getting too close. Here's a key to the hatches. I'd send a servant down there, but they'd die of fear on the spot, I'm afraid. Maybe Piero can concoct some sort of sleep poison for your crossbow if you want to go that route. And you know what, uh, before we head any further, let's go ahead and save and call it there. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, go ahead and subscribe, leave a like and all that fun jazz, and I will see you in the next one.